And good morning, everybody. Welcome to At Your Service. I'm your host, Alan Carpenter. We've got some of our, uh, you know, I, I guess I would say our obligatory Foo Fighters. Oh. As we open up the Stan's Garden Center show with Josh Skarzynski. What does that mean, obligatory? It's obligatory because I know you love the Foo's, so now we have a different Foo's song every time we open up. Yeah. But I think that's an appropriate one because we were talking off air. I got a chance to walk around Stan's East. Uh, was it your first? Week. I don't know if I caught that. No, it wasn't my first for Stan's East. Um, I have not been to the West yet, but I had been to Stan's East a long time ago. Um, but it was my mother's first time in Stan's East, and wow, she she was just, she loved it. Yeah, that's truly what we were talking about. Sometimes we it's lie. It's like walking down the strip in Vegas. You yeah. know, your pupils dilate like, wow. Sometimes we filter what we actually talked about uh, uh, True. before air, and th- that's actually what we talked about. And it, it's a really neat story to hear because being that I truly live there and should just have a cot, you know, right. like set up in my office. <laughs> Small RV uh, in the back. It's easy to look at what you see every single day. And I, I, not, I'm i not a glass half empty kind of guy mm-hmm. uh, in general with like looking at what we see every day. I'm like, oh, we got to get this cleaned up. We got to get this stock. This is lo- like trying to make the best experience. But it is so really hard on the time of year for the, the staff as far as um, – uh, keeping up with things, oh, keeping yeah. things stocked, things clean. So when everyone's, when someone like yourself says, "I took my mom to stands for the first time," I kind of go, "Oh, was it okay?" <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was beyond okay. It's so tough to be, you know, and, 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 like I shudder when I hear uh, that um, you know you were there and looking for romaine lettuce. Oh, it's such a fast paced thing. Was there any on the bench? Like it's so tough to keep up this time of year, and it's uh, not from lack of trying. I mean, we have pretty much eighty staff, and it's just it's such a hard time of year because everything happens at once. And the the advantage and disadvantage from the the stands experience in mm-hmm. general is that everything pretty much there are exceptions we don't grow the tropical stuff from right. florida uh that you know there are a, a little bit of things that we get in you know in the greenhouse and then there's a fair amount of stuff in the tree side of things mm-hmm. and that we source from other growers that that's their niche but the vast majority of everything is grown in-house. Our herbaceous perennials has a complete department with a full-time grower year-round. And, you know, that's the stuff that's hostas and daylilies and such. So we have prided ourselves for decades now in growing as much as we can in-house, supplying as much as we can to the public. But in the growing pains of that growing, the difficult thing is getting all that to market, sure. getting it to market in a timely manner. Because now if you go from growing in – what used to be a 30,000 square foot greenhouse, which sounds like a lot. And now that's, you know, just half of the display house. Mm-hmm. And there is literally six acres of undercover production behind that. Right. Getting all that to market becomes a annual adjustment to the whole business model. Like, okay, how are we going to ship, you know, everything fast enough and, 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 you know, like get it to market when it needs to be. Um, that's, that's becomes the annual thing. So now when you visit, it is, you know, a, a little bit of a cringe for me. Hey, thanks for coming out. I hope your mom had a good experience. Was it okay? Oh, I know. Because yeah, I feel I like that. the growing pains are annually being adjusted. You know, there's all kinds of things that are bouncing around in my head. Like we have to do a lot better job in certain avenues of signage. Like we could do so much better in self-selling the plant material you know Mm -hmm. some better descriptions but you're talking about like a full-time job for two people when you talk about right you know you know a couple million dollars in green goods that are on display like getting those signs out is literally like two people full-time to get the signs out so it gets kind of set by the wayside in lieu of making sure that it's alive healthy and at market like in the in the yard there's still a lot this sounds crazy but I know, and I can probably sit down with a pen and paper right down and, and, and rattle off the stuff that is on our property that is not out for sale yet simply because we just haven't got it out. Like it's, it, it's knowing the size of the place and the, and the production. And that doesn't sound crazy at all, really. It sounds like poor business management to say that you <laughs> grew, say, 40 of a particular special lilac and it's not on the floor. That's correct. Mm-hmm. It's just, it just hasn't made it out yet. Sure. So it, we're working on it. So it, it's just it's always a constant adjustment to that. And that's why when I tour, which I do a lot of, when I go tour to um, 
uh, other garden centers and things in Rochester and all over the place. I've been all over the country looking at gar- garden centers and nowhere as as neat and unique and different as Austin, Texas. That's that's definitely mm. – it's like all the garden centers are very, very hippie geared. Okay. Very, you know, like there's – one, there's a, there's a school bus right in the middle of the nursery for no apparent reason. <laughs> like it's just it, – it's, it's just, just there. really random. Um, so I've been all over the country, and it's always just a a learning curve to say, well, how are you guys doing this and this and this? Mm-hmm. But we are unique in the sense, like I know the Petiti Company in Cleveland grows a great amount of their material. They're even more difficult because they have multiple growing locations, and they, they at one point had nine retail places. So say wow. they have four growing operations with nine retail outlets Mm -hmm. good grief yeah i struggle with two well uh, and the distribution in in in-house is difficult so i'll tell you one thing and i'll give you my mother's unpaid endorsement because there is an assumption with some people that because you guys do specialize unlike big box stores where they specialize in everything well i'm going in here to buy a you know plumbing joint and i'm going to buy a plant and i'm going to buy duct tape you guys specialize in what you do and there's an assumption that there's a premium for that but my mom found your prices extraordinarily competitive. She was really happy. I would like to think that for the product, we are in line. Mm-hmm. I, I For a few years, my dad and I had the conversations because the idea behind setting the price was truly to sit down and say, this is – this is what we got into it, mm-hmm. and this is what it costs us annually to operate. The one side that no one would ever think about really is you have so much downtime. Like say there's 20 people that make their living every year for the last 25 years, 30 years, whatever, and we have we have one or two staff members that have been there 35, 40 years, literally. They've made mm-hmm. their living at that. But what does – what product do you really bring to market in, you know, even in the inside greenhouse, July and August until mums start hitting, you know, they, right. everybody starts talking about mums already in August. Now they get planted next week. So mm-hmm. that that's all a big investment and preparation and growing side of things. But there's only really 20 of us that live it year round. The rest come in and, and you know, it's seasonal mm-hmm. and then we do poinsettias and such. But when you take what it takes to run and operate and keep the facility open, year round uh you have to factor in all of what it costs to sure. make sure stands ha- you know is upright and operating and so that when you divert that over all of the product is very difficult to quantify what this is worth what that is worth sure. and and what you have to make just to give you an idea like not to share too much too much like random accounting but between last year and this year the plastic product used to put into growing like it's impossible really to grow a container uh plant without Mm -hmm. (laughs) so the the container input in the business between last year and this year went up 80 something thousand 82 Mm five or something that was the same product we grew in last year partly supply chain i assume behind partly that? supply chain partly minimums like the the companies were having such labor issues they made some changes in house that said look if you're going to put stands on your pot then you must get you know 350,000 okay. where they used to do 200,000 and we'd we'd get an order here and an order there you know when we needed them but now they said okay now you have to get 400,000 so and if you want black and green now there's a surcharge on that and then mm-hmm. the freight went up like when you look at across the board from a business perspective you know just the same product we produced last year the container itself to grow in was $80,000 so you know when someone will ask well how come you know, three packs went from a dollar ninety nine to two forty nine. It's because the pack, the flat, the tray mm-hmm. went in, and the soil and the freight to get the soil all went up. And that's just a product of where we are right sure. now in business. So, for to hear someone say that they got the the worst thing I want to hear is is that well I see you went up in price because by business it was necessary, but it's not as nice this year. If, yeah, that's if you're what you getting, don't want to hear. Yeah, that's what I don't want to hear. If you're going to get, you know, and and with our crops too, something you might want to know just from a from a, a distribution standpoint is is everything's grown in increments, absolutely everything. Mm-hmm. You know, with the exception of like shrubs that it takes like two years to grow or something. Um, you're going to get in the, in the greenhouse. 
uh, you're going to come and say, oh, boy, the XYZ is really picked over today. And you might come at dinner time, and it might be the next batch, you uh, know, because oh, yeah. it's grown in two-week increments. So, you know, the last one got put down, and like, oh, it got picked over really quick. Holy cow. Like, and then we'll get a, mm-hmm. a, a member or two of our crew to pull the next batch. So you'll come in and be like, well, that's that's all really nice, but it's a little smaller than it was three days ago. Yeah. That's because it's the next wave. Right. For instance, if uh, the grocery store put out all the you know iceberg lettuce on the first of the month, whew, you wouldn't want to shop for lettuce on the or 30th. Or all the eggs, for that matter. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Or the milk. You know, We, only, milk. we only stock the milk once a month. <laughs> yeah, right. So that's how our product is. So what you'll see at Mother's Day is we timed that Mother's Day hanging basket crop to be Already, the whole first batch is already for Mother's Day weekend. So everybody comes in there like, oh, my goodness, look, oh, they're beautiful, they're beautiful. And then they come back, you know, the following Wednesday because they want to get two for themselves because mm-hmm. they took care of mom. Right. And they're like, well, you know, I got that same basket for my mom and it's a lot smaller. That's because it's the next batch. It'll do mm-hmm. the same thing. Yeah. But we didn't do all, you know, 6,000. 6,000 of that variety or that mix or whatever it is all at once. We do it two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, two weeks, so that it's always fresh lettuce hitting the bench. So when you look, like, don't give up on us and say, well, they don't have red begonias because that's where we're at today. We actually burned through all our red leaf uh, begonias. My mom bought some. She took some off the bench. uh, That we hit, which is bad to be Memorial Weekend because that's what you want to hit, but it just just happens. There's such a – diverse mix that you know there was such a run say a landscaper comes in and buys 30 flats like whew, yeah. that's the, there's the 30 flats that should have been on the bench for this go. weekend there's no way to predict that uh, so we had a run on milk and then by next weekend that red begonia you know work on something else work on the vegetable garden or whatever come back to the red begonia it'll be back on the bench it's just yeah. not quite saleable so it, it, it ebbs and floods with with um uh, the product, the quality up and down in size because it's constantly evolving from crop to crop. And that's why I said you should have hit me up. I, did, I didn't see you personally when you were in, but uh, everybody's got a radio so we communicate with one another. Uh, hit me up when you come in and I'll, I'll sneak you back to production oh, yeah. to, so you get to see. Um, and everybody that walks through right now, a couple salesmen walk through that have not been to the facility. We just mm-hmm. did business over the phone. Now that kind of COVID's lifting, they came to visit and they were <laughs> walking around going, what are you going to do with all this stuff? <laughs> it is just wall to wall plants. I said it we, is in Erie. Um, in Erie, the market really does run right. Like right now, Memorial Day is the pinnacle of everything going out the door. Sure. And then the next two weeks, it's almost as heavy because uh, some people don't want to deal with the you know the masses and the crowds. And uh, and then they didn't quite get to it. Maybe mm-hmm. it rained, which we're hoping this is going to be the latter part of this rain. I looked at the weather That's about an hour say. ago, and it's supposed to be improving. If we get a good Saturday, Sunday, Monday for planting after this moist uh, soil, it's going to be phenomenal for mm-hmm. for the gardener. So that being said, without me forgetting or you know teasing any further, we are doing something um, that we typically don't do. And if if my dad's listening to the radio, he might be shaking his head because I know his belief was that, you know, you, you got to pay the bills in Memorial Day, which I totally agree with him and don't disagree at all. Uh, but there's a couple products that we are really kind of heavy on that we have a lot of. So we decided that what better weekend than Memorial Day to, to run a sale. Uh, we typically don't run sales on Memorial Day because, like I explained from a staff business health perspective, like that's that's our biggest weekend. So we do all yeah, of like our, putting candy canes on sale for Christmas. Yeah, Why would you we, do that? We do a lot of uh, put a lot of product out, a lot of effort in, and and you know we have to see some yields so that the staff can survive. Yes, the rest of the winter. Um, but we're we're a little bit heavy on ferns, I think, because we, oh. which is a huge product for us it's a huge crop we we grow two thousand of them in hanging basket boston ferns Mm -hmm. and because of the way the season was so slow in april we had to move the ferns out of the house that they normally are really warm in it's a propagating house we usually leave them in there as long as we possibly can they love that weather they love that humidity and propagation we had to move them out of there about two weeks earlier than we normally do to make room for all the product that we were gearing up for because of the last two years being so aggressive with the local gardener, Mm -hmm. which is not a complaint to the public. It is, you know, we're trying our best to provide as much as we possibly can. We simply said, well, we'll we'll get the ferns out of there early, which made them a little bit on the smaller side than I think our consumers used to. So uh, although we grew more than we ever have in history, Mm. they were a little bit smaller. I think maybe our customer is a little bit disappointed and used to seeing what our June 
ferns look sure. like, which are like hanging below the pot. So yeah. they're the same exact ferns, same exact way we grow them, everything. They were just a little bit smaller than normal. So we have a few left over. So and when I say a few, I mean like 600. Right. <laughs> so uh, we're putting them 30% off Friday, oh, Saturday, Sunday, good Monday. Sale. Good so sale. So the other side of that is we got a little bit of fuchsia. Like if you like that shady fuchsia hanging basket for your patio, a little bit of that. But we know next week comes a lot of sun and a lot of heat. So typically, as the ferns get a home and leave, that shady area then is replaced by the fuchsias so they don't get too hot. Mm -hmm. They can tolerate being grown in a sunny greenhouse in the early season, but then as it starts getting hot and sunny and long days, they get migrated down to where the ferns once were. Right. So i got to make room for the fuchsias to come down to get a little bit of shade. And there's just an excess, in my opinion, from looking at numbers in the ferns. So why not do it for Memorial Day? Yeah. So it is uh, 30% off ferns. The other thing that we grew, because there is so much on the market now, I think when we when we got done putting together everything on paper and said, man, we oh, we got to have that. We got to have that. We got to have that. It's like when you go Christmas shopping, you, you open the, sure. the box with candy canes. If you go Christmas shopping, and you're like, oh, that's really neat for Johnny, and that's really neat for Susie. Then you go to the next door and be like, oh, wow, look, Johnny would love that. And then you get done and you spend $3,000. Yes. And Johnny and Susie both have like a grocery cart full of stuff <laughs> yeah. when you went there for one item each. Yes. So that's kind of what happened, I think, for our. Uh, super tunias, or that's kind of a branded name for proven winners, but we grow a whole bunch of different ones, whether it's Syngentas or Bulb uh, Flora Plant or Proven Winners, or you know, there's all kinds. We don't um, isolate one genetic and say we just grow proven winners, yeah, because we would be omitting so much. So, there are enough super tunias for all of um, Western New York, Eastern Ohio, all of Pennsylvania, probably. To Pittsburgh, um, we can probably provide some to Canada if we yeah, want. If you want to reach so out, we still have full greenhouses untouched of the cutting-driven super tunia, uh, petunia, which is in a four and a half inch pot. They're all thirty percent off as well. Oh, nice! So when you t- look at the the stuff that the Vista series, all the proven winter pot um, petunia. Uh, all of that Syngenta, that ball floor plant, all that stuff that has all those fancy colors Mm -hmm. that just explode your box, your window box, your hanging basket, anything that you mix in. When you see our like three plant mixes in a hanging basket, it's all made out of that cutting driven. So we take a little snippet off of the plant, root it, start it from there, transplant it into a four and a half. Mm -hmm. It's not driven by seed. It's driven by individual cutting. And if you haven't grown that style of petunia before, it'll be like your mom coming to stands. You will not be disappointed. Right. It is definitely the neatest colors, the striped stuff, the and they fill a great deal. All that's 30% off. Yeah. Out in the nursery. Uh, we tried to do a better job this year of when you go through the early season in bloom of magnolias for Mother's Day, weeping cherries, uh, all of that blooming material that is really, really popular. The last couple of years we got caught really um, a little behind the eight ball with where did all this interest come from? Like, you know, we look at last year. OK, we sold 26 of that. Let's get mm-hmm. 30. Well, it wasn't 30. It was like 80. So we did a better job this year of getting a lot of that early Mother's Day kind of blooming material in, like like lilacs and, and magnolias and weeping cherries. Yes. So weeping cherries, we have a bunch of that are no longer in bloom. But if you've been thinking about that one focal point plant, that one on the corner, that, that nice fountain-style weeping cherry uh, that are top-grafted, that, that means that they uh, are attached to a different type of cherry below. And that's what gives them that, that fountain, that weeping mm-hmm. look. Uh, that is all on sale. The weeping cherries are all on sale, thirty percent off as well. So you got your petunias, your ferns, and your uh, your uh, weeping cherries all thirty percent off. Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Wow. Monday being Memorial Day, uh, we're also launching a, a little something else. So it'll be ten percent off for any current or past uh, service member. Very uh, nice on Monday, but. We have done that in the past, so a few people have asked, you know, do you have a military discount? Because that's in a lot of businesses mm-hmm. across everywhere, you know, which, you know, every bit of due respect to all uh, of the service members. And so any service member or their immediate household, you know, if their mm-hmm. wife, we're not going to make you come in. If you're planting in the garden and, and a uh, veteran's wife comes in, then, you know, most of our account in our loyalty program, our loyalty loot is all done by phone number or email mm-hmm. or both. 
uh, if you're then able now to be switched in our system to be a veteran. And why is that? Because every Tuesday it stands is senior day. So seniors get 10% on every single Tuesday. If your mom didn't know that, uh, now you should start bringing her in every single Tuesday. That's true. I should. And and then she can get, I don't think she'd get bored either. I and, think we could do that. Well, then if things change too. Then, you know, it won't be long and you'll see mums and you'll bring her in in the fall and poinsettias and stuff. We'll, we'll, we'll make it like a Tuesday thing for us. I'll <laughs> yes. have coffee ready for you. <laughs> Very nice. And um, so for years, I mean, years and years, and years we made tuesday the senior day so now we I, i've chatted amongst the staff and we've had a lot of people ask oh do you do you know do you have a military discount and that has come to stands from doing it on memorial mm-hmm. weekend so memorial day will be the first day this memorial day will be the first day that all current and uh retired military personnel will get 10 percent, and then it is going to continue through every monday Every Very single nice. Monday is oh, going to be that. Military Monday. That's tremendous. So when you come in to our register, and it only just takes a second, if you're not in our loyalty system, let the staff member get you in our loyalty system. We get your email and phone number, but we do not send a bunch of junk. Mm-hmm. We truly don't. Right. We don't sell them, give them to other businesses, nothing like that. And almost always when you get something from us via email or text, on the phone number, it's something you really, if you have ever shopped at stands, you're probably going to want to read it. Mm-hmm. Because over history, we've given things away just plain for free to the loyalty program. Or we've run like double points mm-hmm. or an, an odd time of use your points. Like mostly it's it's always in the entire month of July and the entire month of November. Um, you know, it, it's something something that you're going to be like, ooh. Oh, that's that's neat. Oh, hey. That's cool. You know, spend ten dollars, get a free mum. Like I'm going in this weekend. You sure, know? it's usually all that kind of stuff or seminars. You know, if, I, if I'm running some educational mm-hmm. stuff early in the season or late in the season, uh, it, it's going to be stuff you're going to be. It's going to be worthwhile. Yeah. Uh, we're working on a program now that uses your email to send you the information. For instance, you come in this weekend and buy a weeping cherry. Then that email knows on our system that you bought a weeping cherry. I'm, we're going to send you an email. Uh, this is what we're working on right now. I've been in a discussion with our, our POS company to, to partner with us to make sure this happens right, that you'll get an email then on how to properly plant and care oh, for that weeping handy. cherry. I like that. So that you get an email that said, hey, thanks for buying this cherry. We want you to succeed because believe me, we do. And here's what it takes to succeed. So you might want to be like, well, I, I invested yeah. $150 in this beautiful tree. I'm going to read this email to make sure I do it right. right. That, that's the motivation behind the email and stuff. That's so great. back to the the military monday now if you are in our loyalty program you simply have to tell the clerk hey you know i am a veteran or my wife is a veteran or whatever you know my immediate household is a is a veteran household or a current military uh Mm -hmm. uh, member and they'll switch your customer category so instead of being just a regular retail customer in our system you know where you come in Mm -hmm. when they do that then every time you come in and you give them your phone number for your loyalty program like they do at many other businesses automatically give you your discounts on monday if you happen to be a senior which is in our business 55 and older if you're 55 and older and a veteran you can get monday and tuesday 10 percent off so we're we're looking to uh, add the military discount and the senior discount so there'll be a category that says senior military that then gives you mondays and tuesdays 10 percent off that all sounds Uh, great if you're under the age of 55 then you'll just be a veteran. If you're over 55 and not a veteran, you'll be just a senior. But if you're both, you'll be Monday and Tuesday discount. That sounds great. Josh. Forever. Wow. That's a lot. That was quite a half hour. Already? Already. We're done. No I've, way. I've got to talk to Richard Conkle here. Wow. That's all I had. That's, that's a lot. So we are open on Monday, by the way, 9 to 6. He, nine, to, 9 to 5. I'm sorry. 9 to 5 on Monday. And may I add, he did all that without looking at notes. I never bring that. You're like a jazz musician here. You don't even look at the music. Improv. Improv. That's what it's all about. Josh, thank you, you, sir.